Good morning, good morning. How's it going, everybody? On another uh, peaks list uh, hike. Doing uh, peak number 47 today, if I get there. And uh, where am I? Uh, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Gate Mountain. I'll put it right here, but Gate Mountain. And uh, it's going to be... Let's start at the beginning. Uh, it is April 14th. It started about 6.30 in the morning. It's a cold one. It's actually around 41. Supposedly, it's only supposed to get about 51. So, uh, but good hiking weather, if you ask me. It can get really hot out of here, as you know. And uh, this isn't too bad of a hike. It's going to be about uh, five and a half miles, so two and three quarters each way. And about 1,100 feet of uh, gain. Uh, it's supposed to be a pretty hike. But I don't know much about it. And it's kind of fun to do that when you really don't know what to expect. I read some comments on peakbagger.com or peakbagger app that uh, there's some uh, pretty washed out rutted areas where maybe the water came down. So we'll see what that's all about, but uh, I don't know much about it, that's fine. Let's get this hike on and see what it's all about and I'll try to bring it to you as, as well as I can. Number 47 down. Uh, uh, uh. Guide Mountain down, baby. Woo!
Well guys, that just about does it, but I was, uh, I don't normally do outros in videos because it makes the video kind of long, but I felt compelled to for a couple of different reasons on this particular hike. Great hike you go, guys. I'll go with it over it at the end, but uh, I want to make something clear that's uh, kind of weird. Uh, the first half mile I was going through was a lot of brush and stuff, and uh, I, I just had felt compelled to look down on my legs because I wore shorts, as you know, and I had two ticks on my legs, and they were crying, crawling up my legs. So uh, I think it's mainly because I vlog, and uh, I do take pictures and go in weird places and deep grass to set up the camera. And in this case, I did walk in some grass. So that was at the first half mile kind of going up. Um, but what's weird is I just now I just uh, set up that shot to go through that gate that I just showed. And I had to, I had to stand in some grass to uh, set up the camera on a, on a log. And uh, sure enough, I just looked one more time and there's a third tick on me that I just showed. I'll show you right here actually. And uh, so just make sure you're checking yourself here. It's, it's tick season, I'm sure all the way to late summer. And your dog, if you bring a dog, I don't even know if dogs are okay out here. I'm assuming they are, but yeah, just be really careful. Uh, a lot of plants encroach on the trail uh, early on. And as you get higher and higher, they, they get, the trail gets more open, so you don't have to worry about it. But just be very uh, aware and just keep checking. So that's part part one. Part two, uh, I was really surprised by this. Come to Gate, I guess it's Gate Mountain. Uh, Come do it though. Uh, I at first started, it wasn't very steep or very hard. I'm thinking, well, this would be an easy day, you know, especially if you look at the numbers, it's 1100 feet over two and three quarter miles up, and then you know, so five and a half miles total. But it was a hard hike, it was a great workout. And I don't know if I've ever done a trail that had more rubble and rocks and things on the trail. Um, it's just literally an ankle sprain or ankle break waiting to happen, which I've dealt with once, as you know. So just be very uh, aware of what you're stepping on. And, it's, and uh, the other part surprised me, it's very steep in spots as you get up. Now there, I showed it in the video, but there's three false peaks. So uh, what makes this different is most hikes, uh, most hikes, you know, when you're doing a peak, you're just doing all the work and then you get to kind of cruise and like, I'm good with downhill, but uh, you get to cruise on the way down. But this one was three false peaks. So it went up, down, up, down, up, down, and then up. But the, la the third one was exceptionally steep. And the fourth one too, the actual peak was exceptionally steep. So what happens is, you know, you're working to get up there, but on the way back, you've got to go uphill on all four of those or three of those peaks too. So you're pretty much going steep uphill both ways, a lot of it. So this was a really good workout. I would say it's a strong intermediate hike. Uh, it's not long, but it's, it's tough. And I think it's mostly um, the trail conditions with the rocks, but definitely check it out if you have time. And I'm kind of out near the eight freeway as you go to Campo and also, uh, uh, near Alpine kind of, but uh, turned out to be a beautiful day. Uh, I did it in exactly three hours and you know, I filmed a ton. I filmed a ton today if you notice, so that's pretty good. I probably would have done it in about two and a half hours if I wasn't filming, so. Uh, thanks for watching so much. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, and all that kind of stuff. Leave me uh, comments if you want. And uh, I think it's time to put some food. See you later. Ooh.